Hi and welcome to a Dramatify tutorial on how to work with our unique multicam scripts for live and studio shows. Live and studio scripts integrate with all the great functionality in Dramatify, just like our drama screenplays and AV scripts. That means integration with team lists and team communications, documents, breakdown, scheduling, reports, call sheets, cast and characters, sets, location and scene items such as wardrobe, props, lights, camera equipment and even extra security. You can add as many episodes as you need, along with up to five different teams, each with their own call sheets. You set up the episode functionality and the production settings. Even though Dramatify's interface is in English, you can add or write your script in any language, including right-to-left languages like Arabic, Hebrew and Farsi. To start writing your script, click on Scripts in the sidebar menu and then create Live Studio Script. Now just add a title and then format which information your technical script should contain. The script settings contain settings for the columns and content for the technical script. Scene number and scene heading are default. Synopsis will only be shown in scheduling and call sheets to differentiate scenes with similar scene headings. Source is the source from where the content is coming. Live, music, EVS, studio speaker and so on. You can add scene notes, set and casting character information if you like. In the scene content section, you can show information in the order you like by selecting column order. You can also turn off columns that you don't need. You can at any time add a content column, should you need it. The timing section might need some explanation. Scene length is of course self-explanatory. Running time is all scene time added together, scene after scene so you can keep track of total length. Instead of running time, you can use real time. That means if you have a show starting at 8pm, you can add that start time and Dramatify will track at which time each segment should start. You can also use reverse time to see exactly how much time you have left after each scene. That is, it counts the time backwards, as you see in this example. To use reverse time, you need to know the exact total length of the finished material. Reverse time can be added after you've written the script, if you are uncertain of the total final length. When you are done with your settings, just click Save. Now, let's start writing. Just click on Add Scene to get started with your first scene. We add scene number one and add a scene heading. The synopsis is for information in scene lists, scheduling and call sheets, should you need to be able to differentiate between similarly named scenes. The source is where the material is coming from. The set is where the scene is shot. I will later in this video show you different methods to add sets, so we'll leave it blank for the moment. Then add the scene time or scene length. Work status help you keep track of the status of your production and you can use it as you wish. To add cast and characters, you only need to start typing the first letter of the name. I will later in this video show you different methods to add characters and cast, so we leave it blank at the moment. To start writing, just click in the text area. By default, it's set to left to right languages. If you write in a right to left language like Arabic or Hebrew, you just click the RTL button. Now, by default, the script editor is in writer mode with only scene content displayed. To switch to technical mode, scroll to the top and click segment parts. Now you will see all available segment columns for a full technical script. This is to make it easier for writers, editor and talent to write, edit and read the script, while satisfying the technical crew's demand on the shooting script. Now, before you start writing, use the styles menu and select either action or dialogue. This will put an icon before any action or dialogue, letting team members know which it is, but also selecting this content for the teleprompter export. You can write without using the action and dialogue styles, but then you will not be able to select only dialogue for teleprompter export, but will get all text instead. You then tab or click to add information to the camera, audio, graphics and screen columns. To keep scene information in line with each other, you add a new segment. When you are done, just click Save Scene. Repeat for all the next scenes. Sometimes you realize that you have missed a scene and need to add a new scene between two existing scenes. Just add a new scene and give it the scene number where you want to add it. 
all following scenes will be pushed down in order. If you simply want to reorder scenes or switch the order of two scenes, click on Reorder Scenes. Here you can simply drag and drop your scenes in the order you want them. Click to save the new scene order. At the top of the script, you find general script notes if you want to add any additional information to your script. If you are using teleprompters, you can export the script as a text file by going to the Edit menu in the toolbar and selecting Export. You can now either export both action and dialogue or just the dialogue. Click the link to download the text file for the teleprompter. Now, while the technical crew loves the full script view with all details, it can be distracting for writers, editors and talent. Just click on Segment Parts to toggle the minimal script view. If you want to print the script, you just use the print command in the web browser. You can choose to print your script in portrait mode or landscape, and also if you want background colors or not. And of course, you can print it on paper or print to PDF. If you like to use the phones or tablets to display the script during shooting, select dark mode in the edit menu in the toolbar. Now your device screen won't glow like a little star in the dark studio. That's nifty, right? Before we finish up this video, I promise to show you how to add cast, characters and sets to your script. There are two methods, before or after you have written your script. To add cast characters and sets before you start writing your script, you manually add them to each category. Click on Characters in the sidebar menu, and then on Add Character. Here you simply fill in as much or as little information you want. You can attach a cast member now or at any time during the production process. Watch our videos on how to work with characters and team members to learn more. To add sets, the most time-efficient method is to first set up locations. In Dramatify, the set is the theatrical set and the location have a GPS location. If you are going to shoot in a studio, click on Locations and then on Add Location. Write Studio as the title and select the shooting location as the location type. If you don't know which studio you'll use or the address, just leave that blank and save. Now click on Sets and then on Add Set. Add the name, if it's indoors, int, or outdoors, x. Then link it to your new location in the drop-down. Now, amongst other things, when you have added an address to your location, locations, driving directions and weather will automatically appear in your call sheets. When you have added characters and set, you only need to add them to your scenes as you write. For larger productions, using script breakdown after script writing might be more efficient. This means adding characters and sets in the script breakdown, along with any other information such as scene items and director's notes. Click on Scenes in the sidebar menu and then on Breakdown in the toolbar. Here you now have all your scenes. If you are producing a series, you can select Episode in the upper left hand corner. You then go through and add all characters, sets and scene items you need. Please watch our tutorial on breakdown to get all the details. And also don't forget to watch the tutorial on scheduling if you want to efficiently schedule larger productions. That's all for now. Thank you for dramatifying your production and saving a lot of trees.